then I think I was just holding on to that dream for so long. in today's video I thought I would do a day in the life with a little bit of a twist I thought I would incorporate the um, no spend month and show you what I do on a no spend month like the activities that we get up to because basically we're trying to save money and not spend a single thing on like entertainment or going out or like eating out when we're doing these like i have to find different activities that we can do that are free around our area so this morning it's like about 10 o'clock um we're actually heading to the park well we're here we're in the car park um but i wanted to get theodore out of the house because he just like completely go stir crazy and so do I if we stay cooped up and I thought I would actually go to the gym this afternoon because they do have a yoga class on and because we have an active like membership we may as well utilize it I mean I go like at least minimum two times a week anyway so we are getting our usage but yeah I thought it would be really nice to go to yoga this afternoon anyway and yeah i thought i would just take you along with me and if you are new here welcome my name is tiana i do lifestyle motherhood and cleaning videos and yeah if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button to see more like this and let's get into it so today is so hazy you literally can't even see the water let me try and zoom in but you can kind of see the mountains there but the air quality isn't too bad. It's not smoky, but you literally can't see anything. If you haven't heard about the Australian bushfires, we are suffering the worst like season of bushfires, I think, in history. Um, basically, oh, what was it? 500 million animals have died and over 1,200 houses have been burnt down so much land has been lost and it's really just like a terrible time for Australians and I think it's a time where we all have to come together and just try and protect each other and get through this as a community but it's it's like a really sad time so I this summer I haven't really been spending a ton of time outside because the air quality is really bad and me and Theo went through a really bad stage where we were I guess quite triggered by the smoke like we had a really bad cough and the smoke just seemed to make it worse thankfully we're over that but still I try not to just spend so much time outside whilst the air is this polluted it's like the worst it's ever been I've never seen fires this bad in my whole entire life and it's like hot guys today I guess because we're on the water like I can't smell any smoke at all which is good but it's super hazy outside very bright so thought I would update you on that if you haven't heard of that and there's lots of like yeah baby yeah that's a party there's lots of pages and charities that you can donate to if you are in the right financial situation because honestly we need all the help that we can get and there's we are so blessed by all the communities that have come together and like have helped 
out whether it be fighting fires or making donations and yeah it's just a really tough time to be Australian right now so I thought I would just put that out there and it's just something that we're all gonna have to get through so anyway we're gonna go and play at the park that was my little I guess moment of the day tip that I like to do when I'm on a no spend month is whenever I go out to like a free event or nah. I don't know run to the shops um, I always like to bring a snack and a bottle of water even if I'm not on a no spend month I like to do that anyway um, just because well I don't like yeah. buying bottled water mm -hmm. it's bad for the environment but also I am an, a water snob I only like drinking mm -hmm. my filtered water mm -hmm. And not only that, like, it will save you tons of money. What? Down? Or more? Okay. Um, it will save you tons of money if you do pack your own drinks. Because drinks can add up, especially if you buy for individual people. Um, and snacks do too. So we just bring, like, a banana. We actually already ate it. but Or a piece of fruit or just, like, I don't know, something to graze on. and sorry the lighting is really bad but um, we're just having a snack and one of the things that I actually like to do is um, eat the leftovers so if Theo, Theo actually had this for breakfast but he didn't finish it so I just put like a bit of cling wrap on top or like a container and I um, um, pulled it out for his snack that way he can eat like the leftovers and not waste food and I'm trying to implement that more frequently because it's a new thing that I've been doing and like right now he's eating his oats from yesterday which would have gone in the bin or like I would have eaten it and I'm trying to eat more intuitively so I want to try and stop eating his leftovers instead put them away and bring them out as a snack as the only option because if I give him too many options then he will go for more of the junky type of food and not the leftovers so Good hack, especially when your kids are hungry. They'll eat what you give them. Got a buffet going on here. This is actually so good too. I'm like eating on it. Mm -mm -mm. I just put Theodore down for a nap and edited a video. It's like 50 insane budgeting hacks that I implement into my life. I thought I would just show you one behind the scenes anyway. So, um, like if you didn't see that video, because it is long, it's actually going up today and this will be going up on Friday. But I reuse my tea bag like four to six times, depending how many teas, to get the most usage out of it. And I don't really mind if it's a little bit weaker. It actually pretty much stays pretty good because I take it out. Like I don't like a strong tea anyway. Um, and yeah, that's just a way that I like to save money in my everyday life because I drink a lot of tea and the tea I like is expensive. So budgeting hack 101. I'm just gonna like pop some boiling water in that anyway. And I think I might just have some downtime because this year I actually want to not overload myself like I normally do. I have decided to take a year off uni or maybe a semester we'll see um this is my first time i've ever taken time off ever from uni after four years and i feel very um i guess i'm sure about myself i feel like my biggest problem is i don't want to feel like a failure and i guess when i sorry guys i'm just sitting down when i started uni I obviously wasn't pregnant and I wasn't planning on having a baby but then I found out I was pregnant and I just 
that was my promise to myself was to finish uni even if I had a baby and so like the past four years I've like really put all my effort in but it's hard it's really hard studying pregnant it's really starting hard studying with a newborn it's really hard studying with toddler and you know what I just when I look back I wish I took a break I wish I didn't push myself that much I wish I gave myself the opportunity to really settle into parenthood because I was just trying to juggle everything I was trying to juggle uni photography YouTube and becoming a new parent and that's not fun guys and that can really like have a toll on your mental health I know it did with mine so this year I'm trying to just soak in my baby before he gets too big before he even starts school because he's he's two now guys and I just feel like the years flying and I'm just gonna focus on YouTube and I'm just gonna focus on working and not studying because yeah I just I don't even know if I want to go in that direction anymore I just feel like because I made that promise to myself I had to finish it but I guess when you have children your direction kind of changes and your priorities kind of change and I think I was just holding on to that dream for so long and who knows I might get through a semester without doing it and be like nah I want to go back because it is like an outlet and I do enjoy it but it's just that additional stress that our family doesn't need at the moment so that's where I'm kind of at and I thought I would give you an update because it is a day in the life and yeah now I'm gonna enjoy my tea and probably chill on the couch until Theo wakes up and then we're gonna go to the gym I was gonna multitask because well I don't know I'm watching a cleaning video and I may as well clean along and be productive anyway I'm going to soak these cashews right now so I just implemented like a little basket to pop on top of my stove for recipes I've been wanting to do it for a long time but my kitchen's so small and I didn't have spare baskets but now I do since I read these videos water so tonight we're making cheesy cashew um, pasta and I'm just gonna soak it right now so that way the cashew is all ready for dinner time because the longer you soak them the better
because it is really dirty. I'm gonna show you like this dirt patch just so you can get an idea of what the true color of the floors are actually like. Yeah, so we came back from the park and this happened. It's everywhere. So I'm gonna have to do the whole floors. So I just boiled some water and I'm gonna be pouring that in. Oh, it is hot. This is a great way to sterilize the floors if you don't have a steam mop. I actually prefer using a hand mop over a steam mop and I'm just going to be using this earth cleaner just to drop. This is just like a natural floor and surface cleaner. Um, another great way to disinfect is a dash of vinegar. I don't like to use too much vinegar because I feel like it makes the floors murky. And just to make the whole house smell nice, I'm going to be adding some Pumpervan essential oils. because we're going to head over to the gym. I'm going to be doing a yoga class, which should be nice. I don't normally go in the afternoon, but I'm trying to make more of an effort because I feel like my mornings are really busy lately. And if I don't go in the afternoon, then I'm not gonna make it at all. All right guys, we are back from the gym and guess what? It is actually raining. I swear, I haven't seen rain, like solid rain in like two to three months. It's crazy. And my washing's on the line, but you know what? Whatever. I'd rather rain over wet washing. With wet washing any day. This pulse pasta it's made out of peas lentils chickpeas and beans and it's really good for protein and it's also gluten-free all right and for this sauce I'm just doing a cashew based cream cheese sauce I'm just gonna pop this in with the water and add some nutritional yeast and veggie stock and just go off by taste and blend it all together going overseas and they gave us this pile of fruit so there's grapes and cherries and I just wanted to prep that um, just so it doesn't go bad because there's quite a lot of it oh there's also a watermelon
This pasta is such a great protein dense meal because it has the protein pasta, it has the cashew protein sauce, and then I've added chickpeas. So it's really good for little ones because you're hiding a bunch of goodies into it. Even you can actually sneak some veggies into the sauce. I've done that previously. All right, guys, I'm just running Fiddle's bar. So whilst Fiddle's bath is running, I'm going to quickly do a speed clean of his room. He's kind of turned everything upside down, but it's not too bad. So it will only take me a minute. kitchen. Someone is absolutely pooped. It's bath time though, boo. Then you can go to sleep. Alright, I just got out Theodore's stuff for tomorrow so I have two outfits and disposable nappies because I am working really early so at least I can just quickly grab these in the morning and that be done. I do have to get my stuff out however. I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen mess and I'm also going to finish prepping the grapes and the watermelon.
Alright guys, because I'm working super early tomorrow, I'm just going to prep Theo's breakfast. So we're just doing an easy breakfast. I'm just going to put his pudding in and I might make up some oats right now. And then he can just eat them cold and have that with fruit. so much for watching to the end if you got this far I really hope this video was motivating and gave you the ability and motivation to prep budget and just eat healthy and just live the best lifestyle that you can and if you do enjoy these videos definitely let me know in the comment section down below and I will make more of them for 2020 and if you are new here definitely click that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and have a great one bye guys